Hi, this is René Molenaar for GNS 3 volt and I'm going to show you how to do the class-based weighted fair queuing lab. So, what do we have? This topology, couple of routers, and um, what I'm going to do is on router Prio, which has a serial link. Uh, it says that it only has a bandwidth of 128 kilobits per second. And HTTP traffic should get a bandwidth of 16 kilobits per second. And RTP should get a bandwidth of 96. And there's also a limit of the number of packets that uh, can be in the queue. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. Um, so what I will do, uh, first of all, let's set the bandwidth to 128 and then I'm going to create a class map one for HTTP and the other one for Telnet then we can create a policy map and I'm going to call it CBWFQ class HTTP bandwidth and I believe it was 16 something, 16, and the other one will be 96. And okay, oh wait, there's one mistake that I made. It shouldn't be Telnet but RTP traffic. So this one will be 16. Let's get rid of Telnet. Class map RTP match protocol RTP. Back to the policy map. So bandwidth 16 and I want a limit on the queue, queue limit, the queue limit will be 12 packets. Alright, the other one class RTP, bandwidth 96, queue limit and the queue limit is going to be 32. There we go. So let me show you what we have here. So these are the two class maps, nothing fancy here. And this is the class based weighted fair queuing. A bandwidth of 16 kilobit for HTTP with a queue limit of 12 packets. Uh, 96 for this one with a queue limit of 32. Now I need to enable this on the interface. So we can do service policy output cbwfq and I'm getting an error here because it says class rtp requested 96 but available is only 80 kilobits per second and that's because by default uh, for QoS you can only use 75% of the bandwidth of the interface um, but this is something that we can change but let me think how we can do this again and to be honest I totally forgot let's google it so Cisco QoS 75% bandwidth and that's strange so what the hell is going on with Google? Mm, that's better. Okay, so if I use the percent symbol, it's not working. Percent, let's... Ah, uh, here we go. Maximum reserve bandwidth. That's the command I was looking for. So where can we change this okay so this should be it maximum reserved bandwidth maximum reserved bandwidth and we'll set it to 100% and now you can see it will accept my service policy so by default it's only 75% that you can use for quality of service and now I just changed it to 100 
Let's do a show policy map. And you can see that uh, HTTP bandwidth of 16, maximum threshold 12 packets, and for RTP bandwidth 96, maximum threshold 32 packets. Okay, so this should be okay. And there's one more thing that I want to tell you here. Because in this example, I did class-based weighted for queuing. And there's a class for RTP traffic. But this is something you should never do on a real network. Because RTP traffic is um, uh, should be in your uh, priority queue. Because if this router would be serving HTTP traffic, then RTP is waiting in the queue. And it might be too long in the queue um, for your voice. Uh, application. So if your VoIP packets are in the queue waiting, then your delay will probably be too high. So normally what you have to do is create a class like this for RTP, but then you have to specify the priority keyword. So let me just show you what you should do. Policy map, so what did I call it? CB weighted fair queuing, weighted fair queue. Oh man, I can't type anymore. There we go. Class RTP. Normally you have to use this keyword. The priority. And then you can specify the bandwidth that you want. And a priority queue means then that whenever you have packets in the priority queue, those will always be served before any other queue. So keep in mind, void packets, uh, the RTP packets, put them in a priority queue. So if I'm being entirely honest, this example is not the best that I have. Alright, so RTP shouldn't be in a normal queue, but in the priority queue, but for this example it doesn't really matter much. Okay, if it doesn't match the other two classes, it will hit the class default over here. Um, okay, so that's all good. And is there anything else that we have to do? Um, that should be it, but let's try it. Let's see if it's, if it's working or not. So what I'm going to do is send some traffic from router Frank to router Jack. And we'll see if it hits the queue or not. And before I can do that, I need to enable some routing. So I'm going to copy and paste EIGRP. And I'm going to advertise all of the interfaces on all of my routers. Let's enable HTTP server over here. And let's see if I can tell that to the IP address of router Jack. So this IP address. And I'm going to tell that to port 80. So you can see it's connecting. And I'm not seeing anything in my HTTP class. But that's probably because I'm using NBAR to do packet inspection. So I'm going to change it. I'm not going to use NBAR, but I'm going to use an access list. So extended HTTP permit TCP any any equals port 80. And then we're going to change the class map no match protocol HTTP, but match access group name HTTP. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's do another telnet. And now you can see that it's hitting 
this class over here. Alright, so this seems to be working. Packets match, there are no drops and so on. Um, so let's try and see if I can get some drops here. Not sure if it's going to work in GNS3, but we can try it anyway. And we can do this by changing the access list over here. I'm going to add ICMP traffic. Permit ICMP any any. And then I'm going to send a lot of ICMP traffic. Repeat. Like this. You can see all the packets that are now matching this class map. You can see there's no drop, there's no queuing, and it will probably be hard to fill that queue. Okay. So this is not going to work because in order to get drops here uh, I need congestion and if there's no congestion everything will just work as it should be. So I cannot show you any drops here. So that's too bad. But you can see the number of packets that have matched byte uh, bytes that have matched and so on. So if you want to see some drops, I would suggest take a real router, so some real hardware, no GNS, GNS3, configure class-based weighted fair queuing and try to do this on some FTP traffic or HTTP or something else and see if it's working or not. Um, anyway, so this is how you do the configuration and before I'm done I'm going to get rid of the ICMP over here, no permit, and that's it. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is how you can configure class-based weighted fair queuing and set a bandwidth and a queue limit per class. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.